Hey guys, I'm Arithia and this is Castle Story. Uh, we're gonna start a whole new Let's Play and I'm gonna dive right in because I have a lot to explain. There's gonna be a lot of talking, so bear with me. <laughs> now, there's a lot you can do in this game, like playing single player modes, you have multiplayer and then you have world editor, which uh, is something I wanna focus on. You can build your own map, load it into sandbox and then, yeah, create your own map to play in. But first I want to explain what this is all about because this is going to be important to know about uh, for what we're going to do. Alright, so you have sandbox, which I really don't have to explain. You don't get attacked and it's just about building. You have invasion, where you get these waves of attacks every few minutes, which is pretty tough. Uh, I tried it for a second and I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I like this without having a pre-built base or a point from where we can start. Then you have Conquest, which I finished, which is actually really fun and sort of a capture the flag thing, but then with a lot of crystals uh, you need to capture before your enemies do or take them back if your enemies capture, capture them before you, so that's really fun. First of all, we're going into Sandbox and you can see you have all these maps uh, you can choose from, we're just gonna choose the first one. So I can explain the gameplay to you, because if I just jump into the map and start explaining all kinds of things, it's going to sound really random if you know, have no idea what this game is about. So I'm just going to quickly go through the basic gameplay and then we are going to jump into the map that I've been working on and I'm going to explain what we're going to do in this Let's Play. And I hope you will enjoy this one. Uh, it's going to be... A little bit chaotic the first episode I think <laughs> because there's just so much to learn and I'm gonna be talking fast and a lot so that's only gonna be for the first episode hopefully I'm kind of planning to do maybe three or four building episodes uh, including this one and then we're just gonna play the game mode in our own build map right we're in sandbox mode over here this is your home crystal and this is what you need to defend at all times. Uh, if they succeed destroying this crystal, it's game over. <laughs> and that's definitely something you don't want to happen. So there are a lot of things you can do to protect your crystal, like building a uh, castle around it and train your workers. And I just want to show you how that works a little bit. Now you have these little yellow men <laughs> and they look so funny. Kind of have Lego heads, right? Uh, they are called Bricktrons and they are your workers. You can see over here we have five workers. Um, you can turn them into soldiers and archers and mages and a lot of other things um, which we will go over when we actually start to play the Let's Play. Now normally if you would do Conquest there would be crystals all over the map, smaller ones. Uh, they look like the middle one all over the map and you need to capture those uh, and then you gather some extra XP as well as you gain that crystal for your base and conquer the map uh, and you gather some extra XP like I said and that will result in more workers. Um, also if they die their souls will just float around the crystal so they won't die permanently and they will automatically respawn. So those are the basic things. Now you can see on the map there are quite a bit of resources. We have iron, we have stone, we have plants, we have brimstone and we have trees. Those are your basic resources. Uh, to gather those you can assign them to do tasks. So you can make them the ch uh, chop down these trees, so I'm just going to show you that. Uh, you can just place it on top of this. And you can choose how many trees you want, you can make it bigger or smaller. And uh, then you press commit and they will start gathering those uh, trees, chopping down those trees for logs. Now what you can do with logs, um, oh before I go to that, there are a lot of other ways to gather stone as well. So these boulders, eventually you will run out of them. And if you need to build a big castle around your crystal, <laughs> that's going to take up a lot of stone, of course. So you can tunnel through a mountain. Then you have landscape. It's a voxel based game. So you can basically also tell this guy to go over here and dig into the ground and um, destroy this block. Now, as you can see, he is carrying some stone. You can see that over here, uh, but we need a stockpile for that. So that's why we're going into the building menu. And the last task you can do is quarry. So that's really nice. 
Over here you can see all the kinds of uh, stone blocks we have to build our castle with. You have some wooden ones, um, I will explain how that works later. And then you have structures. Now since they chopped out a bunch of uh, trees and we have logs laying around, we need to make some stockpiles so they can place that on top of it. We need a chopping block and let's commit to that. So they are just gonna get these logs, build the chopping block. The next one is gonna chop down some planks or make some planks out of that and gonna create these stockpiles. They will place everything you gather on top of these stockpiles. So that's basically how that works. Um, we have this debug menu. First thing I always do is do this editor's camera because I can't zoom out farther than this and that really bugs me. So when you press the editor's camera, you can do this. So that's really nice. <laughs> I like that bit more control. Uh, then you have the debug menu. If you use this menu, just a note for you guys, I think it will prohibit you from achievements. And I'm not exactly sure. I don't really care about achievements. I'm not really an achievement hunter, so uh, I don't really mind. But you can speed up time which is helpful. Uh, you have insta build mode, which we are gonna use right after this. And then you, ha you can spawn in some Bricktrons and you can spawn on in some Corruptrons. So those are the enemies. Let's spawn some in and you can see how that looks. I think the design of this game is so cool though. <laughs> So they are just gonna fight and since they don't have the proper armor and weapons they are gonna lose big time and I'm so sorry guys but I'm basically killing you all off right now <laughs> and uh, they are just gonna capture the base. So let's quit because they will just keep at it for a while <laughs> and that's not what we're here for. I just basically wanted to show you a little bit of the gameplay uh, as, as a little tutorial so you know what we're building our own map for. Um, I have been working on some stuff already and I'm gonna load it in and what we're doing is uh, loading in a sandbox game right now uh, because you built your map in world editor so the terrain and the resources all that kind of stuff then you have to load it into a sandbox game to uh, build and that's something you can do in world editor which I really hope they will add in the future because that would make things a lot easier <laughs> uh, but it works fine for now and I am just happy that I can create my own stuff if you guys follow my other creative series you know by now that I just really like to create my own things so this is the world I've been working on and as you can see we already have uh, a little bit over here it seems like a lot and, and maybe you think like what the hell, I missed all of this. Uh, I just had this idea of this higher platform with the home crystal on top of it and a huge castle behind it. Um, this building is already here because I wanted to test out what we can do with some detailing. And as you can see, this looks pretty cool, right? It looks like a fun little detailing uh, that we can add. So that's something we're gonna play with and uh, we have the stairs and over here as well and this bigger tower so it seems like maybe you've missed a lot but you really haven't uh, there's a lot to do i want to build this big castle behind it the only thing i actually want to do with my bricktrons and with you guys in the let's play is let them build the castle keep uh, and that's going to be a lot of work as it is so I just want to continue on with building the walls uh, for this episode since I had to explain quite a bit. I think if we can achieve just finish up these walls over here that would be a big plus and next time we're just going to start with some detailing or the castle and I think I want to do three or four episodes. Uh, maybe I already mentioned it. I don't know. Maybe three or four episodes in preparing this map and then we're also gonna go back into world edit and I will explain how that works for uh, the, the ones of you who also want to do that. Uh, we're gonna go back into world edit, add all the resources, add some cool little details um, around it like some floating islands maybe with crystals on top of it in case we do want to do uh, conquest and capture the crystals uh, or we just want to collect the crystals to g gain some more XP so we can spawn more workers. Either way, 
we're gonna build a epic map hopefully and we're gonna uh, play in it that would be really cool so how this works uh, is normally you would have them gather some stone with a task that you assign to them from boulders or a quarry uh, anything like that and they will start to gather that pile it onto a stockpile and that stockpile converts it into stone automatically which is a little bit weird to me with the chopping block at least you have a way where it just converts the logs into planks which is obvious but with stone that's not the case anyhow they just collect the stone and everything that's made out of stone you can build with that but they are not the smartest bunch and so what happens uh, when you need to build higher than two blocks you will need to create stairs and, and basically scaffolding <laughs> so that they can get around um, and that's not something I want to do because that's just gonna annoy me so I think I turned on insta build already uh, so we're just gonna go to build we can build this brick over here normally you would drag this down and you can see this blueprint you would place that down oh I didn't go to insta build yet and you would say commit if they have stone they would actually make that and go gather that stone make the uh, make the walls but like I said I kind of want to do that myself so I'm just gonna delete this task real quickly and we're just gonna add to this wall now since this is going to take a while and I do really want to finish these walls in this episode uh, I think we're just going to jump into speed build <laughs> and here we are so I'm just going to go and voice over uh, this footage over here because this can take quite a while and what I'm doing right now is I'm staggering these blocks so I'm alternating them uh, so if one on the bottom gets destroyed the whole wall won't just drop down because that is something that will happen uh, there is something like gravity in this game <laughs> so we we're, we're just gonna be a little bit careful about how we are building this so that hole that I left over, I want a door in there. Actually, I want two doors in there. Uh, what I've noticed is the enemies kind of just go right for the doors because they are easier to destroy and that looks glitchy. Uh, I don't know if that's the reason, but doors are pretty easy to destroy. So we're only gonna have two doors over here and on the right side of uh, the wall, we also have something like this, uh, exactly the same as this actually. Uh, so we can only be attacked from two points. I think that's how it works. Um, I think they will try to get through the walls, but if they can, they choose for doors. That's what I picked up uh, so far. And I haven't really played this game that extensively. I just really wanted to check out what was possible so I could build my own map. And the rest of it we're just gonna have to discover together. Uh, <laughs> now already I encountered a problem over here because we need to have something on top of the door. So it's not a big problem. I just needed to extend this. And you see me placing the doors in now. Um, I do that only for this side. I think I will skip a whole piece of the wall because we're just basically doing the same things over and over again and I don't want to make you watch that. Uh, but we are going to delete those doors again because how this works is, and this is hopefully some useful information for the ones of you who would like to do the same as I'm doing right now. It took me some research to figure this out. It wasn't that easy to find. So hopefully I can be a little bit helpful in this video um, when it comes to building your own map. So this is how it works. You start up World Editor and you start building your terrain. But the first thing I found out is you can't place blocks in World Editor. So you have nothing to compare it to uh, the size of the terrain against the blocks you're, you're going to build, uh, the castle you're going to build. So it's very easy to make the terrain too big. Uh, so I was like, hmm, this is not working for me. So I found out you can load it up in Sandbox. I did that. I started building those blocks and then you can see how big your terrain should be. Then after that, you want to load it back into World Editor because you still don't have any trees and resources and your terrain is not finished. Uh, but that is where it gets a little bit complicated because the blocks you have placed in Sandbox are not automatically seen in the world edit file that you've made. So 
You need to transfer some files for that and I will link a tutorial uh, about that in the video description if you want to check that out. I'm not going to explain everything right here because it's just me talking and not showing anything and that wouldn't make any sense probably. It's the only video I could find about this. It's not the best quality. The sound is very very low uh, so you probably have to uh, put your earplugs in or headset on <laughs> uh, to be able to hear it. That was how it was like for me. So, if you want to, you can check that out. Uh, now, I think we're gonna skip a quite a bit over here because I, like I said, the walls and the towers are just the same. So here we are now at the bigger tower uh, and we're just gonna finish up this corner. But yeah, the reason I started telling you about the world edit stuff is because you also should know that you can't transfer doors in, uh, workbenches, stockpiles, anything like that. Only the stone blocks and the wooden blocks um, you can transfer over to world editor. So you have to switch back and forth all the time to be able to build your own map. It's a little bit complicated and I really do hope that they will find a solution for that uh, so you can just place blocks in the world editor that would make things a lot a lot easier <laughs> and as always if you have any questions uh, you can always just ask me in the comment section or on twitter uh, that's no problem at all I love to help but that's almost it for the speed build part so I guess we're going back to past me so we finished the walls. Um, I need to figure out how to do these towers exactly. I don't think this is gonna work um, because you can see the plugs if you, um, let's see, wood, plank. So if you do this, you can see the plugs and I don't think I like that very much so I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do this just yet maybe I should lower it down have these planks and then place the blocks on top of it um, oh I don't even think we can do that no we can only place it on top of uh, other stone blocks not on top of the wood because it just yeah, that doesn't work either. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to do the towers just yet. I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, structure. And next time uh, I will figure that out. And I think we're gonna start building the castle maybe. Or start detailing. So what I want to do next is I want to have some cool details around. You have these nice pieces over here where you can make arches uh, as you can see so if we place that on top of a pillar like this uh, like this have oh 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 I'm wrecking stuff that's not good um, place it on top of this you can add some nice details to it so I want to figure out how I want to detail this all you don't have an undo button, which is really a bummer. <laughs> that makes stuff uh, a lot harder. Let's get this plug back in like that. All right. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. And next time, like I said, either we're going to build the castle behind this, uh, have a nice big structure behind it, you know, so that will look pretty cool, I think. And uh, we need to finish up the detailing of the towers and everything like that. So I will go and figure that out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and drop a like if you like this video. Leave a comment behind if you have questions or simply just want to talk to me. That's always very welcome on this channel. Share the video with your friends if you think they will like this as well. Follow us on Twitter and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.